Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall. This Train Sim game was released yesterday, March the 16th on Steam and you can access it now for, I think it was about £24.99. This is the next uh, rotation in the Train Simulator series. So it's made by Dovetail Games, the maker of the previous versions, uh, Train Simulator 2014, 15, 16, 17, that kind of thing. However, this one is a completely new game and uh, we can get out of the trains now, we can wander around. I'm pretty sure you can wander the entire length of this track, uh, which equates to about 100 kilometers, I think. Uh, and it uh, is the Sand Patch Grade, I think it's called. It's a uh, section of track in the United States, um, which goes up a mountain. So. Uh, not very many DLCs yet. Well, there's none actually. Uh, we've only got access to three trains and we can do a variety of different things with those trains. A load of different scenarios. So without further ado, let's jump in and create our profile. So we're going to go ahead and select this chap here and press E. We're going to go ahead and call him Electro. And then you can see here, this is one of the trains that we do get access to. This is the EMD GP38-2. And this is a diesel electric locomotive, probably the smaller of the three that you gain access to in the game. Welcome to Train Sim World. We are delighted to offer you the position of railroad engineer on our Keystone subdivision. Your application was outstanding. And we are excited about what you will bring to the daily operations of Cumberland Terminal. We would like you to commence immediately, and will provide all required training at our Cumberland facility. Okay, so we can press E to begin. Here are two of the trains that we can get access to. And I hand-eye coordination is critical to operating locomotives on a railroad. Look down at the ground, up at the sky, left and right. So this is just telling us that we can use the mouse to look around. Uh, no, I'm happy with that. I'm not on the flight sim. There are many things that are not operated from a locomotive cab, so you'll be on your feet for a fair portion of the time. Stretch your legs for a few seconds to get warmed up. Okay, so we can run around. It's telling us that we need to be aware of our surroundings, because walking on a track is a dangerous thing. Um, so I was a bit concerned that this game wouldn't run too well on my PC. Uh, I have probably a mid-range, I would say, lower to mid-range PC, certainly nothing like um, That's the physical Squirrel uses. The training complete. Head over and climb aboard a locomotive. Uh, I have a Core i5, I think it's a 4670 and a GTX 770. So, And I'm running this on high settings um, and it looks pretty good, I have to say. I'm actually quite impressed. It seems to be running fairly smoothly, even with uh, all of this stuff in the background. Uh, so, which loco are we going to go and get on to? I quite like the look of the figure of the two. In fact, are they identical? I think they might be. Hmm, yeah, I think they are actually, aren't they? I thought these were two different locos, but they're not. Okay, let's jump up. Uh, we can get into either door, I believe. Oh, no, there's a door there, so. Open the cab door and proceed inside. We'll close that door over. Uh, we're going to call him John. And there's our seat there, I believe. To take control, you'll want the engineer's seat. Head over and sit down. Okay, we're good to go. 
When sat in the engineer's seat of a locomotive, the driving heads-up display will appear in the bottom right corner. This HUD shows key information about the state of the locomotive while you are driving. The main display indicates the speed the train is traveling at. Okay. The dials on the right display brake system pressures. Along the bottom are the direction, throttle, and brake type indicators. Finally, the exclamation mark on the left is the safety warning indicator, known as the alerter. This will illuminate when something requires your attention and must be acknowledged. Okay, so I'm assuming that's over speed, that kind of stuff. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. So we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, we want to turn the headlights to bright because they're off or dim at the moment by the looks of it. And the medium, there we go, bright. Good. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes and throttle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this okay, into forward. So we've got to move that into forward. To the left is the auto brake, which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Let's move this to release. Okay, so we can use colon or we can just slide it with this. Okay, that's released. I love the fact that you can slide them with the mouse now. Never used to be able to do that in the previous version. We're about to move. So make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, here we go. Safety first. Two blasts. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off nice and slowly. Increase the throttle lever by one notch. And we're off. Looks like we'll do 10 mile an hour in the first stage. You're moving! Great work. To maintain a constant speed, move the throttle back to its idle position. Now, and then we just roll, I take it. Unless we're going uphill, and I'm assuming we need to apply pressure or power. While driving, you may wish to view the train from the outside. You can do this by switching to one of the many external cameras. Have a play with moving the camera around while the train is coasting along. Oh, there's a long shot we can get to. Pretty cool train. I can't wait to get this out onto the open road as such. And uh, see what's next. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo. Initial reduction on. Pretty sure that was that one there, wasn't it? And that does air all of us. It does the loco and the the carts behind as well. Oh. 
Job done. Good. Well done. You're now all set to explore Train Sim World. To learn more about railroad operations, you can trigger tutorials as you explore, or they can be found in the main menu. Okay, well we're going to carry on. And we'll go ahead and play the next tutorial. So you want to learn about yard switching? Let's take a look. Before a train goes anywhere, crews arrange all the cars together. Meticulous planning goes into making sure the right cars go to the right tracks to make up the right trains. This process is called switching. Climb aboard this locomotive and we'll okay, get started. Okay, we'll do. I love the sound effects. Though. As we close this door, we literally can't hear anything. Then that's absolutely brilliant. We can open the door. Set the locomotive up and pull towards the cars ahead. Take it easy though. Five miles an hour will do just fine. Okay, so we needed to set the reverser into forward. We need to release the brakes. We do two blasts on this. And then we set the idle to one. Gently bump into the cars up ahead. The couplers will engage automatically. Probably need a little bit more speed. There we go up at five. It should just drop us back down ever so slightly. We're gonna bump into these cars. Probably need a little bit of break in a minute. That's it. You got this. Now, haul them back beyond the switch in the track. Okay, uh, we need to... That's on release, that's good. We're going to put that into reverse. Give it a couple of... Blasts on the horn, and let's... Let's go with one. Now let's have a look and see what we're pulling back. Now we've only got about five, I thought we'd have more than that. So we need to pull this back past the switch in the track, which is just here. wait to do that and then I think we can okay the train is clear bring it to a stop put that off put that to initial
To put these cars with the others on the adjacent track, a switch in the track must be changed. Climb down from the locomotive and walk to the switch. Okay, so we're going to go out here. We can sprint along the track by pressing shift. change the switch. Now we did come quite a long way. Perhaps we didn't notice he got all of this way. Well we certainly didn't. Now does that actually it does you can see it moving that's amazing. That's really cool. Move the lever so the rails align to the other direction. Yeah, we've done that. Excellent. We're all set. Climb back aboard and push the cars down the track, connecting them with the others already there. Okay, we'll run it back. I understand you can also, you can, we can climb up and have a look at these getting filled. How cool is that? I can't wait for the, uh, the possibilities for the DLC on this game. It's going to be absolutely amazing. see it again. Uh, we need to put the reverse into forwards. Take that out of service. A couple of blasts on here. And away we go. We'll watch this from outside I think this time. I'm going to reach that switch in the track and then hopefully we're going to rather than come down the second one we're going to bump into the oh. just need to take a fraction of speed off travel at five mile an hour or less as we're doing this. And we're going to bump into this car. Hopefully the three mile an hour we're doing now is probably going to be ample just to nudge it ever so slightly. The track ahead looks like it's clear so we'll probably just push them forwards. bumping into them at a lovely speed. There we go, we're good. You're doing great, keep it up. Now to uncouple the locomotive from the cars, climb down and walk to the first freight car. Okay. First off, apply the brake wheel on the freight car so they are secured in place. Pull the cut lever to disconnect the locomotive from the cars. Oh wow, that's really cool, that is. And that's all there is to it. This process is repeated until all the cars required are assembled on the same track. To finish, climb back aboard the locomotive and move it up the track so it is ready to assemble more cars. Okay. So, we want to go to reverse. Brake is off. Throttle in one and we're away.
travel that fast though. Did we have an objective back here? No. Put that on the initial reduction. Just past the points there, that's good. Don't know what the dynamic brake is, we haven't covered that yet, so we'll probably have a look at that in the future. And objective done, good. And we're now level one. We're level one on the sand patch grade and on the SD40. Go ahead and continue. Uh, let's we'll see what the next tutorial is. We're doing okay for time. I reckon we can probably do one more and then we'll call it quits for this episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed watching uh, Train Sim World CSX Heavy Haul. This is the first episode. I plan on doing a few more of these, and uh, whenever a DLC comes out for this, you can rest assured we're going to be bang on it. Let's take a look at how to use the turntable. It'll come in useful around Cumberland Yard. There are two key components. The table, which must be locked in place to use, and the control cabin where the table is operated from. Take a seat inside the control cabin and we'll get started. Okay, we'll do. So this has got a turntable on this side, so we can turn trains and that around. Because obviously you can't turn them around on a on a track normally. On the left is a monitor to view the action outside. In the middle okay. is the rotation control. And on the right is the table lock control. Let's activate the desk by turning the monitor okay, on so and unlocking the table. Okay, so we can do that by pressing that. We can unlock the table. And then I'm assuming we turn it so that it's facing our loco, which is out there. Now we want to rotate the table to point towards the nearby locomotive. Click and drag the rotation control to move the table in the direction you need. Let go of the rotation control as the desired track nears the left side of the monitor. Let's go one more. There we go, good. So I'm assuming we now lock it. Before we head over to the locomotive, be sure to lock the table again so that the turntable is safe now to drive we can on. Head on over to the loco. run across the turntable. How cool is this? I imagine most sort of yards in the States probably have a uh, turntable of some sort on. Alright John, how's it going? Hopefully we're doing good. As you drive onto the turntable, take it very slowly so you don't overshoot. Going slowly also means that not much brake is required to stop. Uh, two blasts. I want to get it so that the back end is on. We 
nearly there. One stop, climb down from the locomotive and head back to the control cabin. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, we're only just on it. So that wasn't good. I don't know why that carried on going. Monitors active, tables unlocked. Using the rotation control, turn the table and locomotive to the indicated track. Turntable in place before you leave, then climb back aboard the locomotive and run it to the designated marker. Take a seat again. And then we need to run to the marker wherever that was. Ah, there it is. That's already in forward. Let's take that brake off. Fifty mile an hour speed limit there, but five, three, four, five is enough. Just so we roll over that marker. There we go. Good. Well, I hope. Excellent work. That concludes this tutorial on Okay guys, well that will be it from me for this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed Train Sim World, CSX uh, Heavy Hall, the new game which was released by uh, Dovetail Studios yesterday, the 16th of March. If you did, then uh, please feel free to smash the hell out of that like button, and I'll catch you next time when we're back with another simulation game, most likely this one, as we run through the remainder of the tutorials and then start having a look at some of the scenarios. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.